me that in. And uh, with that, let's get on with the uh, the Monday morning podcast. I've already talked about disease. Let's get on with some uh, some advice. Uh, okay, Bill, I need some backup on this. Okay, so I recently got into an argument with a bunch of girls about how diamonds are pointless and have no value. All right, sir, before I go any further, you are a man of my own heart. That's exactly what I would be doing. Yeah, why stand there and try to hit on them and get laid when you can actually piss them off by attacking something that you know they love? What a fucking great guy. You know, if you were a comedian, you wouldn't pander to the audience. You wouldn't be going, ah, back me up, ladies. You'd be like, what are you whores doing, huh? You're all dressed up. Um, anyways. <laughs> anyways. So he gets in this big argument with these girls that diamonds are pointless and have no value. He goes on to say, obviously, I was bombarded with disagreement. I tried to explain to them how almost every other item purchased has some sort of purpose and value except for diamonds. A TV decodes a signal and projects it on a screen for hours of entertainment. Cars get you to work so you can make a living. Food keeps you alive. Clothes keep you warm. Even 90% of non-essential items do something to prove their value, except diamonds. But of course, they in no way agreed with me. I was told that it didn't matter how much they cost. It was the fact that they make a girl happy. I tried to explain that society forces the idea down guys' throats, uh, that, the must buy, that they must buy a girl jewelry in order to show their girl they love her. Complete bullshit. I think that if a girl needs something bought for her to prove her man loves her, she's in a shitty relationship. I also tried to explain that guys feel like they need to buy an expensive engagement ring in order to make sure the girl says yes. Also, if it isn't good enough, um, all the girlfriends will basically think he's a cheap piece of shit. Again, I was missed with, met with total disagreement. They just disagree with you on that one? Well, maybe you know what they're actually doing is, is the, the reason why they would roll your eyes and call you a cheap piece of shit, not because they feel that, is because they're actually jealous that they didn't get a fucking ring. And they, they want to make their girlfriend, even though she's a friend, feel like she's settling for less. And if they can just somehow disrupt it, it will actually fill up that hole between their fucking legs. God, that was mean. All right. Also, if it isn't good enough for all the girlfriends, a uh, piece of shit, sorry. Again, I was met with total disagreement. I leave you with this. If you found a rock on the beach, what would you think um, What would you think it was worth? Nothing. Unless someone puts a price on it and then... Uh, oh, Jesus. I was doing so well reading out loud. Let me, let me start again. I leave you with this. I like this. Like I climbed up his mountain and asked him for advice. I leave you with this, my son. And I want you to meditate on this before you go forth and live the rest of your day. I leave you with this. If you found a rock on the beach, what would you think it was worth? Nothing, unless someone puts a price on it, and then another someone is stupid enough to pay for it. Other than that, it's just a fucking rock. Please give me your input on this, and let me know I'm not the only one who feels like this. Um, I, yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Of course. Of course I do. And you know something? You left out another major thing about that, is you don't walk down the beach and find a rock. Okay, what you do is you have some fucking eight-year-old child in Africa and his whole family digging for them, Half, like, with the, wearing a thong so they won't steal any of them. You know? Those blood diamonds, and if you steal one, they fucking machete one of your arms off. Sew you up and make you go back into the fucking mine. That's what you're supporting. That's the greatest argument ever. If your girl's pushing for a ring, what you do is you go out and you rent that movie Blood Diamond starring Leonardo DiCaprio. And when she starts pushing you for a ring, just be like, you know what? I love you to death, but I just cannot support <laughs> I just could not support that industry. The, the children that are forced to go into the mines, the senseless violence to, I mean, if I might as well be the guy holding the machete if I go. I just can't in good conscience buy you that ring. Just go like that. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? And I think it really goes back to that shit where, um, yeah, women want you to suffer. You know what I mean? They want you to go four to eight grand in debt. They want you to do that and go to work every fucking day. No, knowing that you're working for their fucking love and the use of their fucking vagina. All right. I know that's very cynical, but you know, what the fuck? And I'm not saying all broads are like that. Okay. But a good goddamn majority of them are. And, uh, 
I got a good mind to walk up to each and every one of them and slap the shit out of them. What do you think about that, huh? That's one of my reoccurring dreams that I have other than cleaner oxygen. Just slap the shit out of them, right? Just get that great open hand, cheek sound, you know? <laughs> you know, I, normally I would be thinking, ah, oh, fuck, oh, what if this gets out? Nobody's listening to this fucking podcast. You can't even find it. And by the time anybody posts this shit up on YouTube, I'm going to be like, ah, fuck, that was months ago. I'm an entirely different person. I went to church. Um, yeah, I think it is... Um, I think it's a really selfish thing, um, especially if your guy is not making a lot of money, to make him go out and blow money on a shiny fucking rock that was dug out of the ground by a fucking eight-year-old, you know? Just because you're not mature enough as an adult to walk up to all your other girlfriends with your engagement ring and making it be something other than a diamond, or at the very least, making it be a diamond that your future husband can afford, you know? It, I, mean, I think most of it goes beyond, half of it is they want you to suffer, you know, kiss their fucking feet, you know, and go to fucking work and have to work off this shiny fucking stone. And the other half of it is they want to fucking pull it out in front of all their friends. And you better believe that they want to make all their fucking friends jealous, okay? And the greatest thing they could ever happen is if one of their friends is already married, is if you go a couple carats bigger and they can fucking pull that out. That's like their biggest dick competition, is whoever has the shiniest fucking rock. You know what I mean? It really is fucking stupid. But, uh, 